Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a capacitor graph experiment. Now we're going to get four graphs from this experiment, so that means four sets of data. We're going to have two graphs where the capacitor is charging, the voltage time and the current time graph. And then we're going to get two graphs where the capacitor is discharging, so our voltage time and our current time graph there as well. Now while we're doing this experiment, you're going to need to pause the video to take readings. The video moves quite quickly, so you're going to have to pause um, at regular intervals and take a reading. We need a good range of readings. Uh, make sure you've got at least seven for each set of data. Your time will need to be converted into seconds. We're using a phone for the stopwatch, so it's in minutes and seconds, and it's worth drawing your tables before you start. Now we're going to begin with the voltage time graph for our capacitor charging. Now this is what our circuit looks like. We have our, a voltmeter across the capacitor, so in parallel. We have our DC power supply. We have our resistor. Now actually in our circuit we have two resistors, but we're going to pretend it's just one. And we have our capacitor. Now to show you those components on the, uh, on the circuit, here we have our resistors, which we're pretending is just one. We have our capacitor and our voltmeter across our capacitor. We have our DC power supply and our stopwatch, which is our phone. Now I'm going to start the, the stopwatch and turn on the power supply at the same time. Now what's happening here is our capacitor is charging. And as it charges, the voltage is increasing. So you can take zero seconds and zero volts as your first reading as, if you like. And then you just need to pause the video at regular intervals to take a full set of readings. We're going to let this run for just over two minutes. Obviously I've sped up the video. Okay, so hopefully you should have a full set of readings now. Now what we're going to do is just to keep the equipment the same, we're going to do the discharging graph for voltage and time. And the only difference here is that we're taking our DC power supply out of the circuit. So the two leads that are going into the DC power supply at the moment, I'm just going to connect together and our capacitor will discharge through our two resistors. Okay, so you can start taking readings now. So still, again, just pause the video when you want to take a reading and record in your tables. Okay, so you should hopefully have a, a good set of readings now. We'll let this run for just a, a few more seconds and then we'll stop it. Okay, so let's uh, switch around the circuit now. So we're going to include an ammeter instead of a voltmeter. And we're going to be measuring the current as the capacitor charges. So you notice I've got a new multimeter in here that's going to measure my current. But everything else is the same. I'm just going to plug in my power supply. There we go. And start the timer. Okay, so by now you should be on your third set of data. Now make sure you're labeling your tables to remind you what each one is.
Okay, and that should just about do it. So hopefully you've got a full set of data for that one. And then the final one is the uh, current when the capacitor is discharging. And again, the only difference I'm making here is I'm connecting my two wires together, taking out the DC um, supply, and my capacitor is discharging through those resistors now. Okay, and that's us done. Hopefully now you've got full four sets of data. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is plot those four graphs, either on Excel or on some graph paper. Then can you label them and send me a copy of them so I know which one's which. And then finally, as a bit of an extension to think about for next lesson, have a think about what a charge against time graph would look like for the charging and discharging of a capacitor. Okay, bye for now.